Driving into the city in armored vehicles, seeing tracer fire overhead, hearing gunfire, shouting, not knowing which direction is coming from or who's shooting at who. And that was Fallujah. It was very scary. Um, he was in the infantry, and you know, I knew he was on the front lines. You know, I would religiously read the New York Times every day and like, you know, look at the list of the names of the dead and just pray that he wasn't on them. It just got worse and worse and worse. You know, he was drinking during the day. You know, we were definitely growing apart. At a certain point, my wife told me, look, you have to choose between the drinking or me. I stopped that day, and that was July 11th of 2012. I found purpose first through getting therapy and eventually I noticed that when I started working out again and getting back in shape and getting back into running, I, I felt good. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, you do make a difference. As tired as you are, you do make a difference. As many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. I don't know, but to me, this is church. This is church. This is what faith is about. This, this, is, this is what I gave my life to do. This is what I gave my life to do. Just to be a voice in your ear. Just to encourage you. That's what I want to do. To tell you what you need to hear. You do make a difference. Because I know what it is to need to hear that so bad. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, you do make a difference. As tired as you are, you do make a difference. As many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. I don't know, but to me, this is church. Stick it out. 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 Don't you quit. This is church. It is not a black thing. It is not a white thing. It is not a brown thing. It's not just for men. It's, it's not just for women. It's not just for kids. It's for people that are trying to hop their way back home. You do make a difference. Come hell or high water, doing the best they can with what they got. That's, that's who we are, doing the best we can with what we got. You do make a difference. And we may not break any ribbons and we may not get any trophies, but if we can learn how to hang on in there, we'll be all right. You do make a difference. But I have seen days I did not want to get out of the bed, didn't want to put on clothes, and didn't even feel like brushing my teeth. You do make a difference. I've seen days so dark that I just want to keep driving and I didn't even care where I ended up or what you called me. You do make a difference. You don't hear what I'm saying. Before life is over, you got to go through everything. Before life is over, you got to go through everything. We're going to pull somebody out of death's door right now. We're going to pull somebody out of discouragement and depression. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. This is church. 
If you lose a job, keep the faith. If you lose a spouse, keep the faith. If you bury your child, keep the faith. If you have to downsize, keep the faith. If you're at your wit's end, keep the faith. If you get sick, keep the faith. If you lose your kidneys, keep the faith. If you got heart trouble, keep the faith. You might not get a new heart, but you gotta keep your faith. You don't have to be a superhero. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. He said, I got so depressed, I got so discouraged, I wanted to die. I prayed after seeing people get healed and delivered. I raised people from the dead and couldn't get the thorn out of my own flesh. The contradictions of being powerful outwardly and conflicted inwardly is enough to make you quit. And still, he finished the course with a God who said no to his own prayer. You do make a difference. You will have to be strong. You will, you will have to resist your own fear and resist their doubts and resist their murmuring. Be strong! I don't know, but to me, this is church. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Is it just me going through this hell? Or just let me know that I can have some companionship in the craziness. If you don't make it better, send somebody else crazy so we can have some company. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Is there anybody in here that understands what I'm talking about? You do make a difference. Is there anybody else like me in the world? There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. That roll me out in front of them and I'll preach from a chair strip. That tenacity to take a licking and keep on ticking. That inner strength that when I can't do as I would, I'm going to do as I can, but I'm not going to stop doing to the best of my ability. I don't know, but to me, this is church. This is church. This is what faith is about. This, this, is, this is what I gave my life to do. Just to be a voice in your ear. Just to encourage you, that's what I want to do. To tell you what you need to hear. You do make a difference. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you, but doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime.